Thanks for joining today's video, where here we have a math problem that we're going to work through together, and we're also going to go over a common mistake that some people may make when solving this problem. The problem is 6 times 6 minus 6 divided by 6. Now a lot of people when solving this problem will just work from left to right. So first they're going to multiply 6 times 6, which gives us 36, and then they're going to subtract 6 from that 36, which is going to give us 30, and then they're just going to divide that 30 by 6, which is going to give us 5. So the answer should be B, 5. But if we were to solve this problem in this way, then we would get the incorrect answer, because we didn't follow the order of operations here. So let's go ahead and work through this problem together, except this time we're going to make sure that we follow the order of operations. The problem once again was 6 times 6 minus 6 divided by 6. So since we have multiple operations within this problem, we need to make sure that we're following the order of operations here. And over on the left hand side, we can see the acronym PEMDAS, which stands for the order of priorities when solving problems just like this. The P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses, and the E stands for exponents, and since we don't have either one of those, we're going to move on to our next priority of multiplication or division. And here we have both multiplication and division, and since they're the same priority, we're just going to work from left to right. So first, we're going to multiply 6 times 6, which we already know gives us 36, and then we're going to bring down the rest of this problem. So we have minus 6 divided by 6. So now we're going to work through our division. So now we're going to divide 6 by 6, which we know is going to give us 1, and then we're going to bring down the rest of the problem. So we have 36 minus 1. And since we don't have any more multiplication or division to deal with, we're going to move on to our last priority of adding or subtracting. So we're going to take away 1 from 36, which is going to leave us with 35. So that means that our answer is C, 35. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.